Hello there, people. <coughs> so, today is my first day going by myself to a... I don't know if it's a daycare center, if it's a kindergarten. I think it's more of a kindergarten than it is a daycare center. But I'm heading out towards the city of Gobo. And I'm all by myself in this tiny, tiny little car. Uh, it's, it's, it's five speed, so I'm driving manually. You know, it's kind of an overcast day. It's doing light sprinkly rain. Um, you know, probably around... Uh, bit chilly with the rain and the wind so I'm going to say it's somewhere around 65 or so which is probably somewhere around 20 degrees Celsius and uh, I don't know just sort of taking it easy taking it a little slow because you don't know what kind of crazy people be out on the roads you know gotta be careful about that out here folks everyone's a crazy driver and my father always told me, remember, on the road, everyone else is an idiot, and so are you. So you gotta be extra careful. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I mean, as you can probably tell from the sound of my announcer voice here, uh, if you can hear it over the roar of the engine, this powerful 600cc, uh, <laughs> I am, mm, get that back in a second. I am getting over a cold. Is that a second? Uh, I'm getting over a cold, and, um, no, that was fourth, I'm sorry, that was stupid. Uh, I'm getting over a cold, a head cold, a pretty bad one, actually. I had, like, a super sore throat, scratchiness, extremely congested, uh, headaches all around, but I am hopped up. <laughs> I am floating on a lot of medicine and hot tea. Um, matter of fact, I've got a little thermos, I guess, to-go canister. I don't even know what to call these things. Of um, more tea. Ginger, lemon, and orange Cylon mixture. I don't even... I mean, Cylon is something from, like, Babylon 5, I think. So I don't know what a Cylon is in the fruit and vegetable world. I have no idea. <laughs> Sounds cool. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm... <clears throat> And then, I mean, it's been pretty bad this week, because I, I still had to teach. I had to teach all week long so far, and it's Friday. So I had to teach since Tuesday, so four, four, you know, three days straight into this point. And every day it got worse, because I had to use my voice every day. I had to be loud, projecting, and I had to, you know, correct people on their, their pronunciation. And the whole time I was downing medicated Hall's cough drops like they were, you know, Tic Tacs. And drinking lots of tea and, you know, you know, orange juice, you know, things that are supposed to be healthy and get my immune system up and that kind of stuff. Um, <laughs> a lot of fat good that's done me so far. Well, fine, going a third. And, I don't know, it's just been, it's been hard this week. Because, uh, you know, it just, I mean, that's just, that's just the weather. You know, I mean, not the weather. I mean, this is the weather, but what happens to me is into fourth. It is an illness. It's a sickness. It's a head cold. It comes and goes. It's one of those where I wish it had never come at all. <laughs> uh, so I now go into fifth. And shut up. Um, yeah, no, I'm tired. I am just... I've only got this stuff out here in Gobo today and then the rest of it's kind of like general cleaning and I mean, if the rain ever stops, I may end up cutting some grass at one point, but there's no real telling about that. I don't think I'll be cutting the grass today. It's been raining too much. Um, <coughs> I don't know. And the reason why I'm talking to y'all right now is because I'm trying to warm my voice up for all the kindergartners. <laughs> I actually have to get my voice going. Today is the best day out of all the other days so far. Because uh, there's like not really any more pain. Uh, there's still a little bit of pain, but not as much as there could be. So I'm sort of getting myself <coughs> back into it. I'm talking to y'all. Uh, but yeah. It's been interesting this week because of the, the illness and the cold. And uh, I found this um, 
I found this really amazing sort of like Chinese medicine, all natural herbal sort of thing that, uh, I mean, it just like, it cures my indigestion. Just slap quick. Just be bam, it's gone. Um, I believe it's called Sargon, 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 Sargon. I mean, it's this amazing old school I mean, I'll be honest, it looks like you're eating rabbit pellets. <laughs> it looks like you're eating rabbit poop or deer poop. I mean, there's these tiny, tiny little black balls that, I mean, they're, they're you know, they're, they're the size of like plastic air pellets and they smell horrible. They taste horrible, but they fix you up pretty dang quick, man. Um, I had, I had a couple of those at one point when I had drank too much tea because you know I just I've been trying to keep my throat you know um, you know as lubricated as possible and of course you know my body doesn't drink that much tea normally normally I just drink water and you know tea normally doesn't hurt me but I guess because I was sick you know it needed it <clears throat> and uh, I don't know it is just it has helped a lot I mean it's made out of like a bunch of like bark and like roots and things I don't know I think there's some charcoal in there. <laughs> you know, it's all this weird stuff. And it's just like super old school, natural, like diet body cleansers. I don't know. But it was fantastic. Fixed me up real quick. And I went out and bought myself some tablets. <laughs> the newer kind that don't taste like crap. But it's, it's all the same amount of stuff. I should probably get the original brand, but whatever. Uh... He's fishing. I thought that was a drone. <laughs> but yeah. Mm. No, I don't know, guys. And ladies. People of whatever orientation you are. <laughs> I'm having a good time. I'm recuperating from a cold, head cold. Um, on my way to teach a bunch of four and five-year-olds English. Uh, yeah. Just living the life. <laughs> about, as, about living a life as best you can in this situation anyway especially on a rainy day like this Japan's very interesting I'm still learning the language I'm still taking the time to try and understand the culture I don't know guys I wish I actually had more information for you these are just like general update videos I'm like I'm alive you know but I don't know it's fun I miss all my friends and my family and all of you that I haven't met. I still miss you because, you know, you guys are the lifeblood of whoever watches my channel. So, I'm glad that if anything I say about coming out here and working for these people or working for any company kind of gets a fire under your butt. And, all right, and I've, I've done my job. Um, it's a Minabe. I have made it to Minabe. All right. Um, I guess really the only major update I can say is that you know, if I try and upload this video sometime later today, um, on this coming Sunday, I will be going to uh, the theme park, Adventure World. Uh, not to teach this time, but to uh, partake in what they call a family day, which since I'm more or less a part of the company, like an employee kind of thing. Um, I was able to get two tickets to go to the park and actually participate in some of the events, walk around, try the food, that kind of stuff. Just like go in the park um, for free, which is nice. I don't believe I have to pay anything to get in. I think I have to pay some extra money here and there to go to certain events, but I don't think that it's going to be too much. Um, but like, I think I signed up to meet penguins. I maybe signed up to meet pandas. I'm not certain. Uh, <laughs> but it's this weird little thing. So I'll be going there with a friend of mine. And, uh, and we'll have some fun there videos and pictures to post later on. Yeah, it's just, you know, normal day. Anyway, guys, I am passing through Minabe. It's getting a little worse for wear with the rain situation, so I'm gonna have to devote more of my attention on the road. Um, luckily, this is hands-free. 
Uh, that's a lot of tour buses. God, it's like five in a row. Uh, Y'all have a good day. Uh, hopefully next time you see me, I won't sound like Darth Vader's apprentice. <laughs> um, just, just, you know, live your life, folks. Have a good day. I love y'all. I'll see y'all next time. Uh, end of fifth. Okay. <laughs>